Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely T 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, you guys. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here because I know it's been a while since I podcasted. Um, As most of you guys should know by now, I was hospitalized for about a week um, last week and I got out earlier this week. So I have just been trying to get better and heal. I've been doing a lot of damn sleeping. So sorry, I haven't really been posting. I did a live stream Friday, which was just really nice to, you know, get back in the stream of things. But since then, I just like really been chilling. And just trying to relax So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Jerry Harris situation So as you guys know Like this case is like tripping me out Because I remember about I don't know maybe like six, seven, eight, nine months ago or some shit um, I was talking about the show Cheer on Netflix And I loved it You guys know I love shows like that I love watching dance competitions Cheer competitions I'm a big fan of Bring It On Um, You know I love sports Like I tell you guys sometimes like when you have Illnesses that limit you Like physically you know to be able to do Certain things you kind of live vicariously Through those who can do it So I always enjoy stuff like that because it just Reminds me of like you know how amazing The human body is you know I'm saying when you're like fully healthy and you Can do flips and tricks and get Thrown in the air and I just I love It so one of the guys on the show That just like captured my heart Was Jerry Harris him Ladarius Gabby I mean it was like quite A few of the kids they had Very interesting backstories I also love the coach Monica like Monica put her all into these kids I mean it was like a family like she spent more time with them than even her own family so I really respected the fact that you know she put her all into this cheer program (laughs) that was good I instantly smile when I hear his laugh I mean he's so fun to watch so I didn't really keep up with the show after I watched this series. I was, you know, they're all way younger than me. I'm not really interested in what a bunch of 18, 19, 20 something year olds are up to. But from researching everything, he he got really popular off that show. I mean, he was on a media blitz. He was on all types of TV shows and everything else. But we'll get back to that in a minute. Right. So um, we had posted the story right before I went to the hospital about these two twins coming out. And basically the twins and their mother were suing Jerry, you know, sexual harassment. And so I was like, okay, this is odd. You know, Jerry, the one with the huge smile, he's been through so much. His mother, you know, died of cancer and she literally gave her last to make sure her son was able to, you know, get into the cheer competition and get into the cheer scene. Like she put a lot into her child, you know, so... I was just like, that doesn't sound right. So then, you know, I started investigating and then I found the USA Today interview with the two twin boys. They're identical twins and they're both cheerleaders and they were talking and telling their story along with their mother on how Jerry was sexually harassing them. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of the podcast. Different person from when you actually know him. Yes, he might be charming and funny and lovable and also be engaging in sexual activity with children. My first indication that there was something going on was I found a a series of text messages on Charlie's phone um, with Jerry Harris. I feel like I, I was attuned to the fact that they were friends with him, but I wasn't aware that there was something inappropriate about that relationship. That caused me to sort of delve deeper with Charlie and um, look in his Snapchat and things like that and see that there was, it was more than just text messages. Jerry would send me photos and videos of himself, send me obviously nude pictures of himself and like saying all of the things that like he like wants to like do to me and stuff like that. If I didn't like comply with her and do it, he'd be like, oh. All right, so you guys just heard everything that the twins and their mother had to say. 
So I will give the mother props that, you know, she felt something was wrong and she investigated. She then went and, you know, went from just not being in their phones, but also checking their social medias, their Snapchat. And that's when she ran across those messages about him wanting to meet up with the twins and do stuff. And we can all imagine with our minds what do stuff means, right? So I'll give her her props that she didn't just sit on this. She wasn't like, oh, he's a famous guy. He couldn't, you know, he would never. She went and she contacted the proper authorities. She went and contacted the chair coalition that he was working for and stuff. And she did all this way back in May. So I was really surprised that this had been going on as long as it had been going on. But she reported all this back in May. But everything did not break until like maybe like a week and a half ago in September. So now she's suing. So that's where, you know, the side eye comes in is I guess for me as a parent, I'm like, I guess like if somebody touches my kids and, you know, sexual abuse is something that is so serious and it and it lives with you, you know, the rest of your life. Like, thank goodness he never touched these boys. But the things that he was alluding to, the way he made them feel uncomfortable, especially when they would see him at cheer competitions, that's enough to really mess with you. You know what I'm saying? So for me as a parent, I want you to go to jail. You know, so when I see people saying, oh, you know, this is messed up, but I just want to sue, that's where the side eye comes in. But it doesn't mean that they don't have a case. They have proof, and he was harassing these young boys sexually. So now, fast forward to all of that breaking, and initially when he came out to try and, I guess, so-called defend himself, he was saying that, oh, he was a teenager, this was a few years ago, he was 19, but even at 19, these boys a few years ago would have been 12. That's not an okay conversation to have with 12-year-olds at 19. At 19, you are closer to an adult than even being a teenager. So at some point in time, you have to know better. That doesn't negate it. That's way too young for you to be having any type of sexual communication you know, with children. So then last week on um, Friday, September 18th, it came out that he was arrested and charged on child pornography and he admitted to targeting multiple children. So remember, a few days ago, he was denying it, saying he was a teenager. He didn't know what these folks were talking about. But then the FBI got involved. And so this is what they're saying. They're saying, according to reports, Jeremiah Harris, 21, has been arrested and charged with producing child pornography after admitting to targeting at least 15 underage boys. The investigation was triggered after a mother reported finding text messages changes on her son's cell phone. Some of the victims were as young as 13 years old. We begin tonight with that breaking news. By now, you've probably heard about the arrest of Jerry Harris, one of the stars of the Netflix series Cheer, the Naperville resident accused of luring two boys to send him sexual pictures. Late this afternoon, we learned Harris admitted to doing the same thing to as many as 15 other children, and the allegations don't end there. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross was in federal court today as prosecutors unraveled a disturbing pattern that went on for more than a year. He joins us now live. Jeremy. Brad and Erica, Netflix releasing a statement only moments ago saying that they are shocked by the news. Harris was in a federal courtroom earlier today taking a listen viewing the allegations firsthand. Prosecutors say that one of the triggers for today's events, a mother seeing a message exchange on her son's phone. From text messages to Snapchat posts, a federal affidavit details multiple criminal conversations and illegal sex acts with children. A 27-page criminal complaint details the accusations against 21-year-old Jeremiah Harris, the rising star better known as Jerry Harris from Netflix show Sheer. Uh -oh. The docu-series details competitive cheerleading, and it is in that atmosphere that Harris is accused of forming relationships with younger male cheerleaders, then exploiting them for child porn pictures and videos, in some cases, sex. The victims listed as young as 13 years old. Investigators say the crimes date back to December of 2018 through March of this year, with initial contacts with victims taking place at cheer competitions and camps. Court documents showing a text exchange where prosecutors say Harris messages a boy, learns he's 13, and asks for pics, including booty pics. In another, prosecutors showed a young boy doing a cheerleading position known as the needle. 
They say a Snapchat account using Harris's name asked the child to do it naked and take a video and show me. Investigators saying in some cases the 21-year-old paid his victims, in one case, up to $3,000. Harris admitting in court documents he engaged in some of the messaging, including on Snapchat, from his Naperville home. That's the scene where neighbors described more than a half dozen vehicles Monday, including the 21-year-old's red Jeep. Harris also admitting in court documents to soliciting and receiving child pornography on Snapchat from 10 to 15 other minors and to sex acts with a 15-year-old at a cheer event in 2019. And Harris's attorneys not stopping to talk with media on their way out of the courtroom earlier today. Attorneys representing at least two victims saying a parent had the courage to finally come forward with these allegations. They are urging investigators to look into the people who might have been overseeing these cheer camps, these cheer events, to see if there's anything that they could have done to stop this from happening or perhaps failed to do so. And it makes me sad because once again, his with his persona, his smile, his energy, you would have never thought that he would be involved in anything nefarious like this, okay? But this is why I always say, you know, you never really know people. You don't really know what goes on behind closed doors. That's why it's not good to fall in love with a persona or a character or who people portray themselves to be, especially on social media or in the celebrity world, right? So now um, he has been officially charged. I want to play you guys one more video. I want you guys to check this out. Um, this was after he was charged. The breakout star of the hit Netflix series Cheer was arrested today on child pornography charges. Jerry Harris is the high energy personality on the wildly popular cheerleading docu-series. Now the U.S. attorney in Chicago is accusing him of soliciting pornographic images and videos from 14-year-old twins. Their mother, Kristen, who asked that her last name not be used, says her boys met Jerry Harris at a cheerleading competition. My first indication that there was something going on was I found a, a series of text messages on Charlie's phone um, with Jerry Harris. So Harris has become a media sensation. Ellen DeGeneres hired him to cover this year's Oscar red carpet. Hoda Kotb and Jenna Bush went nuts when he visited the Today Show set. And in June, long before the investigation was disclosed, he interviewed Joe Biden. I'm so happy I get to talk with you. Now Harris finds himself under arrest, facing some very serious charges. All right, so you guys just watched that um, Inside Edition piece. Now, what I find very interesting is this. Now, back on my Instagram page, right before I went to the hospital, we were talking about the Jerry situation. What he's done is disgusting. I don't agree with it. He should be charged and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. But I find it very funny that, you know, his case popped up so quickly. Um, the FBI got involved and, you know, they're going after him hard as hell. And compared to a lot of names that we've been seeing over the past few months, He's a Z-lister. So he's a young man who got famous from a cheer documentary on Netflix. But yet and still, you have these huge A-list celebrities who have been accused of literally the same thing, and it's crickets. And I find that very, very telling and very, very interesting. What's up? Hey, T-Sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned in or anchorfm.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.